Now the most important thing to me when I travel is having data with me so that I can update my social media feeds and get in contact with friends and family back home. Now with the plethora of options out there, it is so confusing to choose what you should actually go for. So today we'll be breaking that down for you and sharing with you the most affordable options. it's super simple just download the app pay ten dollars and you're actually tapping on to your local existing plan back home so whether or not you have a plan for three gigabytes or 11 gigabytes you can use all of that or even part of it during your travels and it's all really simple because you can do this on the app itself For Starhub, once you activate your data roaming service, there are a few options to choose from. Now, the cheapest would be data travel. So you can purchase two to three gigs for up to $20 and it lasts you for a month. Now, the great thing is that it connects you to the strongest local mobile network. So you don't have to worry about connecting to the right one or the wrong one. And if you ever run out of data, you can just send a simple text to top up two to three gigs again. Now, the only thing is that this only works with several countries in Asia as well as Australia and New Zealand. For other destinations, you would need to look into other data options. However, it doesn't seem like you can sign up for these data plans through the app, so I think the best way would be to contact StarHub directly. Singtel, you have the Ready Roam plan where you can purchase one gigabyte which will last you 30 days. For example, in Seoul, that will cost you $20 which you can do simply at the click of your screen through the Singtel app. However, if I do run out of data within the month, I would have to wait for the whole month to lapse before I can top up with an additional gigabyte. In the meantime, I would be charged per megabyte use at two cents per megabyte. If I add that up, that's actually $20 per gigabyte, which is the same as the monthly usage. So that's quite interesting. 